Hi, my name is Manish Gupta, and in this video, I'm going to talk about Lion 5 billion dataset. It's a dataset for training image text visual vision language models. So let's get started. What is the Lion 5 billion dataset? Well, uh, as the name says, it, it basically contains about 5.85 billion uh, image text pairs. These image text pairs have been obtained using the common crawl corpus. Uh, specifically uh, by by downloading those web pages and then extracting images using the IMG tag and extracting the caption using the alt text. So um, these um, these these web pages and uh, uh, the image text pairs obtained from these web pages uh, were actually filtered using the clip model. So specifically using the VIT uh, B uh, 32 clip model uh, based on the cosine similarity between the image and the text obtained from these clip embeddings. Um, uh, uh, amongst these 5.85 billion uh, image text pairs, 2.32 billion are English, uh, 2.26 billion are multilingual, covering about 100 plus languages, and the remaining 1.27 billion are not specific to a particular language. Specifically, you know, things like places, product names, etc., are not really language specific. So that is what uh, is this 1.27 billion set. Um, this data set is actually around 20x, more than 20x larger than any other publicly available image text data sets. Uh, as you can see in this picture, uh, there are several public data sets and then there are private data sets which have been used to train various models like uh, Eclipse uh, web image text data set uh, 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 by OpenAI. It is a 400 million data set. That's pretty large. The Align, uh, Align model also uses, Align is also about 1.8 billion data set, but these are all private data sets. Right? If you look at public data sets, the largest publicly available data set was like 100 million image text pairs data set, but then Lion 5 billion is about more than 20x larger than uh, any of these publicly English Im available English image text data sets. 3% uh, of these images uh, 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 were de detected as, as not safe for work, so it's not really a completely filtered and clean data set. Uh, the metadata of the data set actually contains interesting things like the height and the width of the image. It also contains the cosine similarity score um, uh, you know, between the text and the image, which was used for filtering the data set using the clip embeddings. And finally, it also contains a score for NSFW and watermark detector uh, score from these NSFW and watermark detectors uh, attached as a tag to each of those text image pairs. This is how the data set looks like. So here are some examples of English text uh, and uh, image pairs. Uh, there are more examples for the multilingual pairs across different languages. And here are examples of uh, low confidence language, so no detected language as such. And as you can see, most of these are essentially celebrities or places or products and so on. So how do models trained with Lion dataset perform? So the main goal for actually releasing Lion dataset was to have a publicly available dataset so that one can train clip kind of models uh, using public data. Right? So uh, uh, in Lion dataset after its release, various subsets have been actually used to train several models like blip, magma, stable diffusion, and also diffusion models better than DALI2 itself. Right? So these models have become super popular. So like blip is super popular, stable diffusion is very popular as a latent diffusion model for image generation. Right? Uh, um, uh, well, they also uh, the, these authors also performed some experiments so as to show uh, that the clip models actually trained on the Lion dataset are comparable in performance uh, to the clip models trained uh, by OpenAI on OpenAI's private web image text dataset of the same size, 400 billion. Right. So Lion dataset, uh, of course, the or original dataset is about five billion images, but they create two different uh, sizes of uh, sub datasets for 400 billion and two billion EN dataset. Right. So they train different sizes of these clip models before 32 B16, uh, B16 plus, which is a slightly larger model than B16, right? And then L14. And then they evaluated zero shot top one classification accuracy on ImageNet on, uh, and then four variations of ImageNet. Uh, they are actually popular for ImageNet distribution shift variations. And then on a specific VTAP plus data set, which actually comprises of 35 different tasks. So as you can see, they compared uh, uh, across the clip WIT, which is a clip uh, web image text data set uh, for pre-training, and then using 400 million and 2 billion uh, English uh, uh, sub subsets of the big Lion data set. Right? So as you can see, uh, if you basically just compare, uh, uh, you know, these these uh, B32 model itself, you can actually observe that uh, uh, on ImageNet, the accuracy is pretty similar um, to the original um, clip WIT uh, uh, clip WIT model, right? So the original clip model, which is trained using the web image uh, text data set. If you uh, also look at the 35 different tasks and their average, 
you basically see that across many of these data sets, the accuracy of the Lion 400 million trained clip model is similar to the accuracy of the original clip model, which was pre-trained using OpenAI's web image text WIT data set. Okay. Now, uh, but they further did more experiments so as to uh, check, uh, you know, if you essentially use uh, the larger pre-training data, does it give you better results at the same compute power, right, for while pre-training? So uh, on the left side, uh, and this, these are all zero-shot classification results. So you see on the left side, ImageNet 1000 classes classification result. On the right side, you see VTAP plus classification results, zero-shot image, cla image classification results. Yeah, these are top one accuracies as you see them on the y-axis. On the x-axis, what is shown is the giga multiply accumulate operation. So essentially, you can think about it as compute power required to pre-train this mod these models. Right. And what you observe is that uh, you know uh, there are various uh, values which are shown here using different size of models and different size of pre-training data which is used. So uh, you see B32, B16. You you also see L14 uh, different kinds of these models which are shown here B16 plus as well. Right. And you also see that uh, uh, you know models which have been trained using 400 million or 2 billion sizes. Now, of course, what you observe in general across both of these plots is that increasing either the model size, you know, you can increase the model size from B16 to B16 plus to L14 and so on. Either increasing the model size or the data size, 400 million to 2 billion, actually leads to improvements in this zero shot to top one accuracy in terms of classification. Uh, right. So that's that. Now. This observation is not just limited to zero shot. Actually, it holds good for few shot classification as well. So this is ImageNet accuracy top one percent, uh, top one accuracy again. And uh, uh, you know what you uh, so this is this basically shows this few shot uh, accuracy results. So on the x-axis, therefore, is number of labeled examples that were used for few shot training. Right. Uh, and uh, what you, and, and on the y-axis, of course, the ImageNet top one accuracy is shown. So um, uh, the models being plotted here are uh, models of different sizes, B32 or B16 or L14. And again, you basically see uh, different size of data sets as well. So OpenAI's WIT data set, which is of the same size, 400 million size as Lion, uh, Lion 400 million data set and Lion 2 billion as well. Right. So what you observe is that the green curve performs the best, which is essentially uh, the large model, so VIT L14. So of course you you expect the large model to perform better, but what you also observe is that uh, uh, is that the Lion uh, 400 million performs comparably to the Open AI's uh, you know WIT data set. So uh, providing an open source alternative uh, uh, or a rather open publicly available data alternative to Open AI's uh, otherwise private WIT data set. Now, how does the how do the models trained with Lion perform on uh, generation tasks, right? Generative uh, image generation tasks. So, um, so what these authors did was to actually fine tune OpenAI's Glide model on Lion five billion data set. So, rather than using the Glide's own proprietary uh, data set, they actually fine tuned the Glide model using public uh, Lion five billion data set. And you can actually yourself look at the results, and they look much better. In fact, they've also put up a demo, uh, you know, uh, so as to so that you can play around with uh, the image generation results for Glide versus uh, versus uh, you know the Glide model trained using Lion 5 billion data set. Okay, so a couple of bananas hanging from a metal hook. So as you can see, you know, in most of these cases, uh, the Lion 5 billion data set trained model, which they call as Lionide V3, gives you better results compared to the original Glide model. Similarly, a couple of a group of people that are standing in the street, uh, Glide really fails, not even showing uh, any people out there. But uh, Lionide gives really good results. Okay. Of course, Lion 5 billion data set and its subsets have been used to train generative latent diffusion models like stable diffusion. So you see, and stable diffusion, as all of us know, uh, can actually provide really good uh, generative results. Right. So uh, thereby showing that the Lion 5 billion data set has been used. Um, to uh, in, in in good spirit uh, for for various kinds of models, including uh, stable diffusion itself. So in summary, Lion 5 billion is a uh, is a is a large data set uh, with uh, almost six billion image text pairs. Uh, in fact, 5.85 and so on uh, billion image text pairs. Right. It can be used to train state of the art uh, clip models of various scales that match the strong zero shot and robustness performance of original models themselves. Uh, trained on closed uh, curated data uh, like OpenAI's WIT data set. Right? It can also be used to fine tune generative models like Glide, uh, producing samples of good quality. Uh, well, it has also been used already in popular models like Blip and Stable Diffusion already. Right? 
So that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Hope you liked the video. Connect with me on my LinkedIn or look at my research on my homepage.